only 59 remaining 72 the lead so already snookers galore for ding well, three snookers required Now drawing Ding on, but that look on his face suggests, well, <laughs> I've got a mountain to climb to turn this around. Yes, and it's four snookers required, not three. Four point, four, four point snookers. One. Still four, if he takes the blue. Six. Ding's given his all, produced his best snooker of the match to level at 5 all from 5-3 down. Played a perfect break off, only to watch Wilson Seven. roll in a superb red and get position. Well, I think it's very admirable of Ding Jin Wee to be playing on four snookers required. Fourteen. So now the snookers begin. Four snookers required. Twenty-one. Of course, if he could get a free ball, that would alter things. Well, that's one, but it shouldn't be difficult to hit. Can get past the blue. Only the speed here. He needs a little kiss. He could have done with a kiss there. Big swerve this. Cue balls going close to the pocket. But the side just kept it out. All that right hand side on the cue ball. Crowd still believing that Ding can pull this match out of the fire. It would be a quite spectacular escape if he did it. Still needs four snookers. Well, that's a better one. But it's only one snooker, and I can't see him leaving a free ball here. That's if he misses it. And he 
it's a big red because it can come off the boat cushion or go at it directly. I can't see him playing this hard and leaving a free ball. Clever shot that was. Didn't see that one coming. Can he get through? Well, can he get through there? From this angle, it doesn't appear so, but he obviously can, and that's unlucky for Ding. It was a great attempt at the snooker. Anti-climax for the crowd. Still needs four. Didn't play to pot the red. Just send it down the table. And it just checked back. Had it not checked back, that was a good snooker. Chance to put it all away now. and anxious to get it over with yes he's got one foot well he's probably got one foot and that three quarter of his of his body in the final just needs to get the other leg there another very good effort well, he's got some snookers, hasn't he? He's tried his hardest, Ding Jinhui. That's about the fifth snooker he's got. And a little bit more difficult, unless you can see the bark cushion come off one cushion. And don't forget, mustn't leave a free ball. If he misses the red, he could leave a free ball. He was a bit unlucky there to have allowed Gary Wilson to see the boat cushion. But again, another chance to stun in behind the blue. Yep, that'll do. And it's a beauty. Being deserving great credit here. We know what a great potter and break builder he is, but he's showing us his prowess when it comes to laying snookers. So far, Wilson has stood up to the pressure. Well, finally, he misses one. So three snookers required. Zheng Wei Li, our referee, calling for calm. The crowd still believing that their hero can turn this around. But it's still a very tall order for him. Three snookers, unless he can get a free ball.
just a half a ball shot. Now, I could try and clip the red really thin, take it behind the black, try and get the cue ball dead on the cushion behind the brown spot. Well, the problem with playing it that way, you've got to get the snooker, otherwise you're pushing the red towards the pocket. It's a thin cut, but if it goes in, it's game over. Perhaps worried that he might miss the red altogether in going for the pot. How calm, cool and collected he's been throughout this match, Gary Wilson not least in compiling what looks like being the match-winning break of 72. Unless Sting can conjure something extraordinary. One snooker down, three still to go. Looks good. Just a one cushion escape. Just too hard to be perfectly in behind the black. He's still got the snooker. And yeah, it's a pretty good one. Looks like the only way, well, he's thinking of the swerve, but wouldn't rank, recommend that. That would leave a free ball if he missed it. And for a moment, he was gonna play it. Now, might just be able to get that cue ball in behind the brown. Tight in behind the brown. And that's tight. My word, as he put Gary Wilson in some snookers and there's a chance of a free ball here. He'd be able to win if he had a free ball. And you know what? I'm not 100% sure that Ding would even play, would have played for these snookers had the crowd not willed him on when he walked back to the table. 72 adrift, 59 on, four snookers required. Suddenly, this match is coming back alive. Well, don't forget the black can come into play here as well. Black, free ball. Does ever, he's thinking of coming off the jaws of the pocket now. That would guarantee a free ball. Looks like the black. Is it a free ball? It is. It's a free ball. Now then. He can win with a red and a... I think, let's work it out. What's in it, Philip? 72, the difference. Originally, with 59 on then 63 so three snookers required now two snookers required but if he takes the free ball well it depends on the value of the color of course this counts as a red 43 in the game a pink would be enough 
he's all of a sudden he's gone favourite, Ding Jun Wee. What? Forty two points in the game. This pink would leave thirty six. Still needs a snooker. He does. But look where the red is for the snooker. 36 Seven. points in the game. I was getting carried away there. But this match has definitely turned in a dramatic way. And another snooker. And it's a difficult one if that red bounces. And he'd be able to take anything. Wilson being put through the ringer here by some fantastic tactical stuff from Ding Jun Wei, who looks down and out. Suddenly, he has renewed hope that he could turn this around. This isn't easy. This isn't easy. Well played. Well played. Had he not hit that, he was in big trouble next shot. Ding, remember, needed four snookers. Now he needs just one after the free ball. And he's got that glint in his eye again. I think he's got it. I think he's got it. What a touch. One cushion escape. Wilson's heart will be beating a mile a minute. Well, so will Ding Jamwees now. He could play a little slow screw in behind the yellow. Or clip it thin, try and come in behind the black. Not thin enough. But that was a good kiss on the black. I just wonder how Gary Wilson's feeling at the moment. On that break of 72, opted to power in a green which he rattled. At that stage, must have thought he'd done more than enough to win. Oh, just hit it. Only just hit it. Well, as well as Ding has played to lay these snookers, you've got to give a lot of credit for Wilson for the way he's been getting out of them. Absolutely. Absolutely. And he's been in some tough ones. Where's that red going? Where's that red going? Another chance for Gary Wilson. It's a tough one. Gary Wilson with the chance to finally put this match to bed. He's and done there it. it goes. Well, what a match it's been and what a performance it's been from Gary Wilson. Ding has thrown the kitchen sink at him in the last hour or so. Coming from 5-3 down to force the decider and then threatening to pull off the most miraculous comeback four. from four snookers required. But Wilson has kept his head, he's kept his cool, he has been positive from the first ball to the last and he has got his just desserts. The biggest win of his career. Nine. A 30 year old from Tyneside can now look forward to a final showdown with Mark Selby he was already enjoying the biggest payday of his Sir, career. And that's going to get a lot better now. And of course the chance for the prize of China Open champion and a cheque for £85,000. What a performance this has been. I'm sure Ding will congratulate him warmly because he deserves it. It's been a fantastic match. What a semi-final. What a way to finish. And the crowd on their feet. Credit to them as well. Credit to Ding Junhui for the fight he put up in his title defence. But it's Gary Wilson, cucumber cool.
who strolls into the final with a 6-5 win over the defending champ. He is all smiles, and I'm not surprised. Fist pump from Wilson, what a win. He'll play Selby for the title tomorrow. He beats Ding Junhui 6-5.